Well, good evening. This is a very wonderful and momentous evening uh, where we get to recognize uh, some very good and uh, important and uh, uh, people in the community uh, to whom we're so grateful and proud. We'd like to start tonight by asking um, Grace Wills, Grace, are you here? To come up and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Grace is the ASB president-elect for Santa Clara High School. Thank you, Grace. Sorry. That's okay. Okay. Um, would you all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Ready, salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Grace. Um, we'd now like to welcome the Santa Clara Choir, High School Choir. I love this quote by Theodore Roosevelt in talking about people who put themselves out there. He said, the credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, and spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows the thrills of high achievement. And if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly. So that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who knew neither victory nor defeat. Um, a little farther into the century, President Kennedy said, for I can assure you that we love our country not for what it once was, though it has always been great, not for what it is, though we are deeply proud of it, but what it someday can and through the efforts of us all someday will be. And then Gandhi said, I shall pass through this world but once. Any good, therefore, that I can do or any kindness that I can show to any human being, let me do it now. Let me not, not defer or neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. The older I get, the more that particular statement rings true. And finally, we have the greatest, Muhammad Ali, who kind of puts it in our face. He said, service to others is the payment you make for your space here on earth. 
So those being honored here tonight did not decide to make the world a better or more just place by just sitting on their hands. Though that is a decision. And any one of them could have made that decision. These honorees chose to do the hard thing, to get involved, to give their best efforts, to help others in the way they believed they could be of best service. Their conscious decision to sacrifice their time, their talent, and their treasure to help in service of a greater good, that's heroic. Though I am sure they would not characterize it as such. They certainly did not do what they did so you all could watch them walk across the stage tonight. As I've looked at these faces over the years, what I've been handing out these recognitions and making these comments, most of them did not want others to know what they did at all. They just wanted to help. So as we honor them tonight, let these honorees be an example to all of us about what it is to serve. We all know that many others around this community, sitting in this audience, help in their own way. And tonight, we're proud to honor these special people. So with that said, we'll get on with the awards. Okay, first honoree, Ryland Chang. Ryan is a model citizen. He is kind and respectful to students, staff, and members of the Bowers community. Ryland gives 100% effort to everything he does, whether it's a student council president, volunteering, playing basketball, or being a responsible member of the safety patrol. He goes out of his way to help others and has a warm, welcoming attitude toward those in need. Ryland is a wonderful example of an upper grade leader. Thank you, Rylan, for your positive, warm presence and for all you do for Bowers. <laughs> Next, Rihanna Neiman. <laughs> Rihanna is a special kind of student who always looks out for those around her in class, she takes the initiative, doing whatever needs to be done to support her class without being asked. She is thoughtful and a role model and someone who includes new students in games and makes people feel welcomed. Her ideas and dedication to student government have not gone unnoticed, and Bowers truly appreciates her demonstration of safety, responsibility, and respectfulness. Thank you, Rihanna, for your contributions. <laughs> <laughs> and the adult uh, honoree is Laura Lavoie. Lavoie. Thank you. Laura is a visible volunteer on campus and at school events, and her smiling face on display right now and gracious manner is appreciated by all. She is a PTA treasurer, a walkathon team member, and co-chair for Staff Appreciation Week. Laura chaperones field trips, works at the book fair, and assists in and out of the classroom helping students and teachers with preparing materials. This year, she has been a Project Cornerstone volunteer, helping to reinforce the valuable lessons from the program. Her quiet dedication helps make Bowers an even better place to be for staff members and students. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Next up from Bracker, we have Justin No. Justin is a very social student who, when asked, will go gladly jump in and help get things done. He volunteers during lunch and after school to help organize student council fundraisers and is the student you can rely on during crunch time. Justin will happily step in to participate with student body activities and has many ideas. He loves to share and help others. 
Justin is well respected by his peers and treats others with kindness and acceptance. He shows other Bracker, students at Bracker how to be positive and excited about learning, which helps to make Bracker a better place to learn. Congratulations, Justin. Next up is Maida Gonzalez. This school year, Maida has been serving as Bracker Student Council Secretary. In this role, role, she spends countless hours on the computer, typing up notes from the meeting to ensure their clarity for school distribution. These notes provide vital information to help our student council reps report back into the classrooms. Maida comes to school every day, eager to learn and do her best. She sets a, posi a positive example for her peers and expertly models how to help make her school community a better place. Congratulations, Maida. And our adult honoree is Kevin Heller. Kevin is the parent every school wants to have. He's actively involved in his daughter's education as an advocate and can usually be found at PTA family nights and supporting activities. Kevin volunteers in the Bracker after school STEM program, working with many different ages of children and is always thoughtful and supportive. This year, he graciously offered to serve as a second team, to serve a second term, rather, on the school site council and was ultimately elected president. Kevin is a terrific role model and strong supporter of Bracker Elementary School. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up from Raleigh, we have Derek Aslan. Thank you, Derek Aslan. Um, Derek is a valuable member of the Bracker community. I'm saying, <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> you can be in both if you want. Brawley community. Um, he serves as fifth grade student council class representative and participates in Math Olympiad each year. Derek is a hardworking student who enjoys challenges. He participates on the Brawley volleyball team, designed an experiment for the science fair, served as safety patrol member, and plays an instrument in the band. Derek is safe, kind, and responsible. Brawley's three agreements. Congratulations. Right, thank you. Next up is Zoe Munro. Munro. <laughs> Zoe exemplifies what it means to, bra to be a Brawley Eagle. She shows school spirit and contributes to the school community on a daily basis. Zoe serves as a mentor to a first grade student. A student, as a student council representative and as a safety patrol member. She participates in the Math Olympiad, conducted a science fair experiment, and shares her musical talent in the band. In the classroom, she can be found assisting her peers in academics. Zoe is a model citizen at Brawley. Congratulations, Zoe. And our adult honoree is Sean Zhao. Hmm? I'm sorry. Okay, so Sean could not make it. So we are now at Briarwood, and our two student honorees could not make it tonight. So our adult honoree is Andre Svidenich. Okay. I was waiting for the correction. <laughs> Andre makes Briarwood a better school. His work and dedication have led to a better community, a better learning environment, and a better culture. Andre's influence and guidance 
benefits everyone. It is in the classroom where he helps students understand the power of positive thoughts and actions. It's at PTA events where he organizes amazing, fun events for our students and families. It is part of the Briarwood campus because he is always willing to lend a helping hand. Thank you for your time, influence, sense of humor, and for making Briarwood a wonderful place to learn and to work. Congratulations. <laughs> So if we can get Central Park and Heyman and Hughes and Laurelwood to please line up. And first up from Central Park, we have William Chung Hoon. William stands out as a passionate leader at Central Park. His love of reading led him to initiate a lunchtime book club for third graders, recruiting over 20 members with a common goal, spread more love for reading. William facilitates the reading group like a teacher and actively participates in student leadership to help plan events for the school. He reaches out to struggling students to offer support and is the first to offer assistance in any way possible. William understands that we all have gifts and opportunities to improve, and he uses his strengths to better his community for others. Congratulations, William. <laughs> Next, from Central Park, Juliana Bobias. Juliana sets an example as a helpful and collaborative student with, strong, with a strong growth mindset. She collaborates effectively and kindly as she strives to listen and incorporate others' ideas. Socially, Juliana can help settle conflicts among her peers and brighten the day to anyone who is in need. She models active listening, perseverance, and is constantly striving to improve. She confidently faces her mistakes as, opportun as opportunities to learn and humbly accepts her successes as evidence that she is ready for more of a challenge. She's a strong leader in and out of the classroom. Congratulations, Julia. And the adult awardee is Tessin Dosh. There are not enough words to thank Tessin for all she has contributed to Central Park. She leads a lunchtime robotics class competition team and was integral in helping to design and update our website. Tessin runs the after school tinker time in our maker space where she is teaching student leaders how to use the 3D printer, among other skills. In addition, she led a professional development for staff, teaching them how to integrate robotics into their classrooms and actively creates opportunities so that students and parents can experience coding and robotics. She is very appreciated by all at Central Park. Congratulations, Tessa. I neglected to mention Mike Kamstra as the principal, as well as Susan Jezik from Briarwood and Ryan Lee from Brawley and Wayne Leach from Bracker. Apologize, guys. Next up, um, we are also, excuse me, yeah, from Heyman, we have Luke Bates and Kim Wakefield as principal of Heyman. Lucas is an outgoing and enthusiastic student who puts forth his best efforts in his schoolwork. He is always looking for opportunities to assist both in and out of the classroom. In addition to being responsible for all his schoolwork, Lucas is also a member of both the Heyman Safety Patrol and a dedicated conflict manager. He's an integral part 
of our class discussions and works hard to gain a deeper understanding of the topic that is being taught. As he continues on from Heyman, he is sure to be successful in both his academics as well as in his life. Congratulations, Luke. Next up from Heyman is Carly Asenbach. <laughs> Carly is a passionate person and student. She goes above and beyond to help others around her, from her peers and her teachers to her siblings. She volunteers her time as a hardworking member of our conflict managers. In the classroom, she is always a team player and is willing to help those in need. As she continues on from Heyman, Carly is sure to accomplish great things in all areas of her life. Heyman thanks you for all that you do and wishes you the best as you move on to the next chapter of your life. Congratulations, Carly. And our adult honoree is Elizabeth Bates. Heyman is thankful for Elizabeth's commitment to the school. During her time at Heyman, she has participated in PTA events, planned meetings, and served as PTA board member. She is a supportive mother to her son, Luke, and has volunteered in the classroom and on field trips. For several years, she has been in charge of updating our information board at the front of the school and stays in regular communication with the principal on upcoming events. We appreciate Elizabeth and say thank you for your dedication to the school. Congratulations. Okay. Um, no, this is, excuse me, Hayden. Hayden is an outstanding volunteer at Hughes. His contributions as a safety patrol sergeant and to the Mouse Squad, Thursday Shopping, the Book Fair, and a Lunch Helper are just a few ways in which he has sacrificed his personal time to better school climate. His devotion and support at Hughes has helped create a safe and positive learning environment for everyone. All in all, Hayden is deserving of this award because he is a model student who consistently adheres to the school rules, be safe, be responsible, and be respectful. So to the brother of Hayden, congratulations. Our second, honor Our second um, honoree couldn't be here, Francesca Soledad Casis. So our adult honoree is Shannon Yamaguchi. With our unending passion and dedication for the school, Shannon has become a valuable asset to the Hughes team. She is on the PTA. She is involved in the school's book fairs, and Shannon participates at other parent meetings. Each day, Shannon volunteers her time, not only in the children's classrooms, but also in the office, and steps up at all times whenever she is needed. Over the years, Shannon has participated in so many ways that Hughes will be forever grateful. Thank you for everything you do to make Hughes a better place for students. Thank you, Shannon. And Terry Morrow is principal at Heyman. Next up from Laurelwood and principal Lori Rogers is uh, the uh, first student honoree, Xander Blackman. Xander is a prime example of humility and service. No matter what challenge comes his way, he works hard and accept it with, accepts it with great grace. He does whatever he can to help others and goes out of his way without expecting any thanks or acknowledgement. He looks out for others on their own, loving and accepting everyone. Xander is dedicated to every job he commits to, including the green team and student council. His positive attitude and work ethic make him a great role model for younger students. He is a wonderful person to know, and Laurelwood is thankful they got to meet him. Congratulations, Sam. Our 
Our next honoree is Zahara Blackman. Zahara is a perfect example of leadership in service. She is creative and inspirational, drawing, other, drawing others toward her and her causes. She leads with kindness and wisdom and is always thinking of new ways to help others or bigger groups or larger scales. Her speeches for both the Green Team and Student Council were exciting and full of ideas. Zahara is humble and people are just drawn to her purely by the amazing things she does. She is a great model of perseverance and persistence and her dedication shines in all the ways she works and helps others and their causes. Congratulations, Zahara. And our adult honoree is Amanda Laughlin. Amanda has been an active parent volunteer at Laurelwood for many years. This is her final year with a fifth grader, and she will be greatly missed. Amanda has served on the PTA, the school site council, and as an organizer for the annual Nutcracker schoolwide performance. Almost every day, she serves with a smile at the front curb as greeter for the car line during drop-off. She has gone above and beyond as a quiet worker bee who leads by example. Thank you greatly for your service to Laurelwood School and Santa Clara Unified School District. We wish you well in all that you do. So next up uh, would be Maine, and then Millican, Montague, Montague, and Pomeroy. Our first awardee is John Ramirez. John is a co-leader for a student group called Needs for Children. Through John's leadership, Needs for Children created a fundraiser program for the St. Jude Research Hospital called Goody Grams. Students, teachers, and parents purchase Goody Grams for a dollar to have kind messages delivered to peers in the classroom. John and his group get together daily to discuss a theme, content, selling strategies, advertising, and job duties. John's strong leadership skills helped establish three successful fundraisers this year, collecting almost $800 for St. Jude. Congratulations, John. Our next honoree is Dana Ringifo Cabezas. Dana is co-leader with her classmate John for the student group Needs for Children. Her passion for the group led Dana and six other students to approach Mrs. Olmos about starting a fundraising program for St. Jude Research Hospital. Dana's excitement for the program was contagious and she had many ideas about fundraising. Her leadership skills in collaboration with the Needs for Children group led to the creation of the Goody Grams fundraising program. Dana's involvement, including planning a fundraising night at Panda Express, helped raise almost $800 for St. Jude. Congratulations, Dana. Well done. And our adult honoree is Peng Peng Song. <laughs> Peng Peng is a reliable, kind, smart, organized, dedicated, and hardworking person. In addition to being a Project Cornerstone parent leader, she pitches in at the, in the last minute to help with lunch duty, recess duty, ice cream sales, and other PTA activities. This year, Peng Peng single-handedly sorted and organized over 3,000 books that were donated to the school. She also creates promotional posters and mans the bookstore, fulfilling her desire to bring books into the students' homes. Peng Peng's contribution to the school and community has made a positive impact on everyone involved. Congratulations, Peng Peng. And Socorro Olmos is principal at Maine. Next up, 
with uh, Principal Bob Moss at Milligan, Milliken, um, is our first honoree, Nilda Baronita, Baronia. And I just was told that Nilda could not make it tonight, so our next student awardee is Taylor Wong. <laughs> Taylor does it all as a student, a leader, musician, and athlete. As a student, Taylor is incredibly hardworking and conscientious. As a leader, she is easily a top role model for other students and is well respected by her fellow classmates. This was apparent when she was elected by her peers to serve on the student council. Additionally, Taylor is a reliable member of Milliken's safety patrol. As a musician, she plays the trumpet in the school band. And lastly, as an athlete, she was one of the few girls who played on the flag football team and is now playing on the volleyball team. Congratulations, Taylor. And our adult honoree is Pitti Dillon. <laughs> Pitti is an indispensable part of the Millican community. Over the past years, Pitti has been a room coordinator many times over. She participates in all parent-teacher association functions. As a leader, she organizes and runs Millican's annual harvest festival, movie night, and walkathon. She can also be found making teachers' days brighter and easier by making copies for them every week. She does it all, and all with a smile on her face. Biddy is pure gold to Milliken. Congratulations. Okay. At Montague with Principal Ramis Harari, we have our first uh, honoree, Jared Dye. <laughs> when speaking of an incredible kid, Jared fits the bill. He is the type of person that is always there for you. He is adored by his fellow classmates and he exudes leadership qualities um, all around. Jared is a student council president, helping make the decision that affects all of his peers. He is also a safety patrol leader, directing traffic in the mornings in order to keep students and communities safe. He has set an example as a leader when using Montague's behavior program, the three B's. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. After school, he is involved with the YMCA, helping lead others in the program. Jared's attitude, determination, and leadership makes it, make him an excellent candidate for this recognition. Congratulations, Jared D. Our next honoree is Audrey Marti. Audrey is a hardworking and responsible student. She is a model student at Montague and constantly demonstrates the three Bs. Before school, Audrey arrives early to participate as a member of the safety patrol, ensuring safety for all. She is always volunteering to help out whenever needed. After school, she is also a member of the YMCA where she plays a key role in the program. She is a role model for other students as she demonstrates the, core, the four core values of the YMCA respect, responsibility, caring, and honesty. Her determination and dedication to all aspects of her life make her stand out as an individual. Congratulations, Audrey, and keep up the good work. Congratulations. <laughs> and our adult honoree is Tarim Ayesha. Ms. T, as the kids call her, epitomizes the jack of all trades. She is an involved parent, volunteer, noon duty supervisor in the cafeteria, and she is a wonderful help on days when Montague desperately needs help in the classroom with students. But that's not all. She also serves on the school site council and is the ELAC president. 
If that was not enough, she also chairs the PTA's Multicultural Spring Potluck. It is clearly evident that she is highly involved in so many aspects of her school community, which makes Montague a better place for it. It is a pleasure to honor Ms. T with this award for her outstanding work. Congratulations, Sally. Okay, next up from Pomeroy School and Principal Tricia Ringel is Samra Hibik. Mm -hmm. It is great, with great enthusiasm that we award Semra with the Public School Week Award. Semra helped to launch the annual food drive at Pomeroy and encouraged students to donate food to the needy. She led the school's Pennies for Patients campaign, helping raise almost $4,000. Semra volunteers as a project cornerstone reader. She visits a primary grade classroom and teaches and discusses how important it is to be accepting and understanding of others. We appreciate Semra's commitment to Pomeroy and to helping others. Congratulations, Semra. Our next honoree is Giselle Barajas Carranza. Giselle models the Pomeroy proud motto, be safe, respectful, and responsible. Since Giselle was a young girl at Pomeroy, she has wanted to participate in student council. In fifth grade, she ran for the position of community services coordinator and was accepted. In that role, she helps with planning, fundraising, a food drive, and a school-wide program to raise money for cancer patients. In addition, she volunteered to read books for, to younger students about building positive character and life skills. Giselle exemplifies her helpful attitude in the classroom. She regularly volunteers to assist her fellow students. She is consistently kind and goes beyond what is required of her. Congratulations, Giselle. And our adult honoree from Pomeroy is Gabriela Ariano. <laughs> Gabby is a very busy mother, and yet she answers the call to Pomeroy in the classroom, office, and at special events. She graciously gives her time and volunteers for kindergarten and fifth grade. She has been on field trips, helped with hot chocolate sales, and donated supplies for many projects. Her administrative skills and organizational ability were quickly recognized, and she has recognized the schools, uh, reorganized the school's supply room and file cabinets. In short, she's Pomeroy's go-to person around the office. On the playground, she volunteers to help supervise students. As special events occur and extra hands are needed, Gabby always steps up. The last and most amazing thing about Gabby, she does all this with an upbeat, fun approach that radiates goodwill as she goes. Congratulations, Gabby. <laughs> and next schools up would be Ponderosa, Scott Lane, Sutter, and, and Washington Open. Our first honoree is Vasant Raj Kumar. <laughs> Vasant is a great benefit to the Ponderosa community. In addition to being a strong student in all areas, he served as a school crossing guard, a flag monitor, and a primary playground coach. He was also a member of the football team, played the saxophone in music, and participated in FSEA, Future Scientists and Engineers of America. Vasanth served as a classroom representative on student council, keeping his class up to date on school events. Outside of school, Vasanth swims, plays tennis and soccer, and regularly volunteers at Temple. He has certainly left his mark on the school community. 
Congratulations, Vassal. Our next honoree from Ponderosa is Kay Synth Younger. Cadence. Cadence is, is a focused student who puts forth 100% effort into her academic career. That strong work ethic and her leadership skills are also seen in and around the Ponderosa school community. She has volunteered for crossing guard, flag monitor, and playground coach. She participates in the school band, the school newspaper, the student council. Outside of school, she is also on the swim team. Cadence's service to her school and her commitment to her education is the definition of a Ponderosa superstar. Congratulations, Cadence. And our adult honoree is Tracy Lay. Tracy has been an invaluable asset to Ponderosa and has made a huge impact both inside and outside the classroom. This year, Tracy both ran Math Olympiad and FSEA. In addition, she recently organized a Goodwill truck drive that raised funds for the school. Every year, Tracy volunteers in the classroom by running small groups and doing, and doing a myriad of other jobs. She has also served as the PTSA president rummage sale coordinator, and newspaper club co-chair. In that role, Tracy brought NBC News to Ponderosa so the meteorologist could broadcast live from the lawn with all the students. Tracy's dedication has earned her a lifetime of Ponderosa superstar status. Thank you. Next up from Scott Lane and Principal Priscilla Reza is Honoree Jericho Pengilinan. Yeah. Jericho is a fifth grade student at Scott Lane. He is a current student council president and an all around class leader. He is always up for a challenge and as a result, he readily steps up the ante on his assignments. However, he remains humble and approachable, always willing to help his peers in need of, who are in need of assistance or tutoring. He works collaboratively with others and looks out for the well-being of all. He even dressed as Santa this past winter so that his schoolmates could take pictures with Santa. <laughs> Jericho really rocks. Congratulations, Jericho. Our next honoree is Larissa Ruffner. <laughs> Larissa embodies Scott Lane School's values. Larissa is a highly responsible student. Every day she comes to school 100% prepared and ready to learn. She is a member of the school safety patrol. In collaboration with other safety patrollers, Larissa has maintained a flowing traffic and ensured her school's parking lot is safe for all. When faced with challenges, Larissa does not give up. Instead, she perseveres and overcomes obstacles. As a result, Larissa continues to achieve academically and socially. She does this all with great enthusiasm. Congratulations, Larissa. And our adult honoree is Anne Catherine Chatterjee. Chatterjee. And Catherine quickly became involved at Scott Lane when she enrolled her son about three years ago. She volunteered in his classroom and reached out to help in the front office. She soon became a PTA member and really rallied other parents to join and make a difference for their students. She is now the PTA president, a member of the school site council, and continues to help the school community by spearheading and organizing fundraising efforts such as the Penny Wars and community building events such as the International Fair. And has truly made a positive impact on Scott Clean. Congratulations.
And then from Sutter School and Principal Michael Fong, our first honoree is Isabel Walker. When she isn't playing softball or soccer or coloring pictures or playing with her dogs, Isabel is helping at school. Isabel makes Sutter a better place by helping. During the school day, she is always, all, almost always helping someone. She is a flag crew member, playground equipment helper, student coach, student body president, and student council member, rainy day helper on Mr. Ron's Keep the Campus Clean lunch crew, and keeps the campus safe by monitoring the crosswalk as safety patrol member. When she's not participating in community service, she's playing on the school flag football team. Her leadership on and off the field is widely valued. Congratulations, Isabel. Our next honoree is Remy Pilaski. When Remy isn't playing soccer or reading fantasy realistic fiction, she is at school excelling in academics and community service. The youngest of four really learned from her siblings how to work with others and when to lead and take charge and take care of others. During the school days, she is always helping someone. She is a student coach, student council member, rainy day helper, um, on Mr. Ron's Keep the Campus Clean lunch crew, flag crew, playground cart team, and keeps the campus safe as a safety patrol member. When she's not participating in community service, you could see her scoring touchdowns on the school football team and on the volleyball team, spiking the ball. Congratulations, Remy. And the, the fix was not in on this next one. I just want everybody to know. Our next honoree, adult, adult honoree, is Martha Keegan. Where's Kevin? I know you're out there, Kevin. Okay. All right. Martha makes Sutter a better place. You can see her at Sutter first thing in the morning and doing the leap in and leap out program, which motivates students to excel at school by checking in with an adult. You can often find her running copies in the or in the classroom assisting teachers. If she isn't there, she is at PTA events and meetings where you often find her coordinating, organizing, helping, and assisting. Her biggest contribution this year was co-coordinating the PTA Sutter Gala fundraising event. It raised over $30,000 for programs to benefit all Sutter students. She spent infinite hours soliciting people, stores, and organizations for prizes to auction in the event. Martha has made a huge impact in so many ways. Congratulations, Martha. And from Washington Open and Principal Barbara Berman, our first honoree is Ben Zuberick. Ben is bold and eager, and eager to lead. He adopted a growth mindset early on in his education and always wants to improve his performance. He is sincerely caring and generous, befriending all types of students and showing an interest in helping support a whole team. He volunteered as safety patrol participant and put in endless hours in rain or shine, keeping his school safe. He shows the same enthusiasm as a student leader, where he helps solve problems and lead games at recess. Ben is a genuinely good person and all around excellent student. Congratulations, Ben. <laughs> Next up from Washington Open is Tori Farnham. Tori is a loyal friend and uh, is happy and confident. She is always smiling. Tori is creative and able to take risks in trying new things. For example, she is willing to ask questions and is highly committed to her own education. She advocates for herself and shows no fear of getting clarification she may need to follow through on an assignment or to complete a project. Tori has a kind of quality about her and she is respectful and responsible in all she attempts. 
She's a model student for all her peers. Congratulations, Tori. And our adult honor honoree is Hang Har. <laughs> Hang is truly amazing. She is an endless ball of energy, happily eager and willing to lend a hand to all with a quiet assist. She has helped organize numerous classroom overnight field trips and regularly helps office staff with laminating or an odd job that is needed. She always shows tremendous initiative in getting each task done carefully and efficiently. Hong is deeply committed to both her own and her children's education and the community as a whole, including years of Boy Scout leadership experience. Hong is unassuming and never asks for recognition for all she does for the Washington Open community. Congratulations, Hong. Next up is Westwood, and then Don Callajon, and Bookser is unable to be here, um, then Cabrillo. First up from Westwood, and Principal Corey Gaffari, is honoree Andrew Rosenberg. <laughs> Andy is an outstanding student and terrific role model. He has demonstrated this through his hard work and determination to succeed. Whether it is an officer on the safety patrol, a member of the student council, a gifted receiver on the football team, tonight's draft night by the way, just wanted to say, or working very hard to excel in his academics, Andy is always putting forth his best efforts with amazing results. A dedicated student who is constantly asking questions in order to remain a lifelong learner, we have no doubt that Andy will continue to be successful in all he does. Congratulations, Andrew. <laughs> Next up is Aliana Ferreira. <laughs> Aliana is an exceptional all-around student. She is a tremendous role model, as demonstrated through her hard work and determination to be successful. She has shown outstanding leadership in and out of the classroom, including her role as a member of the student council, a captain of the safety patrol, and a star member of the football team. Whenever anyone, whether it is a fellow student or teacher, looks for someone to help solve a problem, Aliana is often found uh, the one who is found and, and called upon. Learning is extremely important to her. Although she's a terrific student, she nevertheless continues to work hard and ask questions to become even more successful. And we know Aliana will continue to excel. Congratulations, Aliana. And our adult honoree is Sherry Rosenberg. Sherry goes above and beyond. She has been an active PTA and school site council member during her many years on the campus. She also co-led fourth grade science camp fundraising to ensure that all Westwood students could attend science camp without worrying about the cost. These fundraising events have not only raised money, but have helped build a strong sense of community. Most importantly, Sherry has headed up partic Westwood's participation in Project Cornerstone bringing family readers into the classroom to share ideas in, the com in community, culture, and friendship. She has spent countless hours recruiting, training, and leading this group of volunteers to build a strong, supportive community for all students. Congratulations, Sherry. And this Okay, Cesar Biruete. Cesar is a hardworking scholar and an athlete. In the classroom, he strives to do his best and assist others. 
He, is act, he actively participates in the active program, AVID program, by pushing classmates to demonstrate their thinking, by admitting and improving upon his weakness, and by showing kindness and patience toward others. He often stays at, in at lunch to study for tests or to ask advice about attending college. He is driven. On the soccer field, he delivers perfect passes to teammates and assists coaches as a team manager. Most importantly, he cares about his community. He goes out of his way to tutor friends and his family after school. His little brother is lucky to have such an amazing role model in his life. Congratulations, Cesar. Next up is Alexandra Ferguson. <laughs> Alexandra is a student you can always count on. Her bright smile and positive attitude are ever present as she works to help others. Most time when she enters a classroom with a request, it is an errand or chore for someone else. Whether it's setting up for an event, cleaning up the classroom, or simply turning in her work, she is constantly going above and beyond to be her best self. When she is asked to help, she readily does so with enthusiasm and sincerity. She has been a good friend to many and is ready to take on high school. Her positive spirit and overall friendliness are and will be true assets. Congratulations, Alexander. And our adult honoree is Terry Mensch. Terry is masterful at finding a way to say yes to the needs of teachers and staff, whatever the time commitment or the time of day. With great grace, competence, and willingness, she has given her time to classrooms, teachers, sports, and school events. In particular, her assistance in the library has been amazing. She can always be counted on to help, help out at book fairs and at the busiest times. Terry will not leave the library if there are books waiting to be shelved and is always willing to jump in and help with special library projects. Additionally, her organization of the annual Spring Fling make it one of the most successful events of the year. Don Callajan has been very fortunate indeed to have Terry as such a crucial part of our volunteer team. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is Cabrillo. Followed by New Valley. And Santa Clara. Santa Clara. Our first uh, honoree for Stan Garber and Cabrillo is Angelo Islava Islava. Did I say that right? Is that right? Angelo is a great student and a remarkable young man. He's a student leader at Cabrillo, who has planned on the tech charity, who has uh, planned the check the tech charity, pennies for patients fundraiser, canned food drive, and lunchtime contests. On top of all the work he puts into those endeavors, he's an umpire for the Briarwood Little League and a center fielder for the Mission City Pony League. His giving spirit has been well nurtured. He comes from a service-oriented family, where his dad is a police officer and his mom a probation officer. He says he wants to play Major League Baseball or be an artist for Disney, and we have no doubt in our minds that he could accomplish whatever he sets his mind to. Congratulations, Angelo. Next up, Sydney Domingue. Sid Sydney is a wonderful young woman and an exceptionally good student. She would never say an unkind word about anyone. In fact, Sydney loves helping people, like visiting and helping the elderly at a nearby retirement or nursing home. As a student leader at Cabrillo, 
She plans, to, she plans dances, fundraisers, and other activities at school. Sydney is also a much valued friend. Many Cabrillo students go to her for advice because she's so wise for her age. Congratulations, Sydney. Our adult honoree is Myrna's Mayor. <laughs> Myrna's was determined to bring parenting classes around the idea of digital citizenship to the parent community of Cabrillo Middle School. At first, her suggestion got little support, but she persevered. She followed up regularly, and with the help of the ed Educational Technology Director, Bonnie Billings, more than 50 parents showed up in the Cabrillo Library to receive valu valuable information about digital citizenship that Myrnas wanted to help them learn in order to help their children. She didn't give up on her idea, and we all benefited by her determination. Congratulations, Myrnas. And next from New Valley and Principal Antonio Vela. We have David Alexander Badalen. David, David is the cheerful voice of the morning announcements at New Valley. He's doing it now. While informing his schoolmates of the day's events, David adds humor and a spirit of optimism to his work. As a leader on campus, David is tireless in searching for ways to make school fun. His positive attitude is contagious for students and staff alike. A student once described David as always being joyous. Additionally, he serves as New Valley's representative to the school board. Through his work, New Valley has received a lot of support and attention. His abilities with people and his enthusiasm is sure to guarantee David a bright and interesting future. And I can also say he's been a tremendous board member. Thank you, David. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next honoree is Sepiyuta Tuakolo... Tuakolopia. <laughs> Tuakolopia. No matter how many times you say it, it's always hard. <laughs> Sebituya has overcome great odds to achieve her goal of graduation and her next step into college. Before coming to the U.S. to join her mother, Sepi spent years with no access to school. She arrived last year, starting her education as a high school junior. In two years, she has done everything in her power, not just to earn credits, but study hard to learn so that she could catch up to graduate on time and be ready for college. She has achieved all this while volunteering outside of school as a care provider. Sepi Tuya is an amazing person, full of kindness, full of strength, full of goodwill. Truly amazing. Congratulations. Next up from Santa Clara, we have Abel Sima. <laughs> Abel is an outstanding student. He has taken 10 AP courses and honors classes, with his favorite being AP Chemistry. He served four years on student council, including as Renaissance Rally uh, co-head this year. In that role, he was one of two students in charge of academic rallies, honoring those who have achieved both excellence and growth. In their spring rally, he and his partner coordinated the largest academic rally scene, honoring over 900 students. Over the years, Abel has shown a steady and reliable character in his service to his school, becoming the person relied upon when something needs to be done or if a thoughtful opinion is needed. 
Outside of school, he tutors at his church. Congratulations, Abel. Next up is Haley Levine. And I neglected to mention the principal of this illustrious place who's standing up here right now, Greg Shelby. Thank you, Greg. And thank you for the use of the theater. Haley has served on the student council for three years as part of the Renaissance Rally team, including this year as co-head. Along with Abel, she coordinated the behind the scenes work to arrange two excellent rallies. In this role, she balanced thoughtful reflection on how to highlight academic achievement and growth while organizing and motivating her peers with a calming and welcoming approach. Haley is also a great athlete, especially in soccer. She made the varsity girls soccer team as a freshman and was awarded first team all league all four years. This year, she helped lead the team to a CCS championship and is headed to San Jose State to study and to play soccer next year. Congratulations, Haley. And next up, if we could get Wilcox, and then Wilson, and Adult Ed. And our Wilcox principal, standing on the Santa Clara gauge, is Kristen Gonzalez. Our first honoree, a very good guy, I have to say, is Joseph Cho. Joseph has been a leader on the Wilcox campus for his entire four years. He has served as the freshman class president, clubs commissioner in his sophomore year, secretary treasurer in his junior year, and is currently serving as ASB president. As a member of the leadership class, he has helped organize annual events including homework week, winter ball, toy drive for George Main Elementary School, Fantastics class competition, multicultural week, Stanford Hospital Blood Drive, and the Black and Blue Olympics. And I can just tell you, he is also so concerned about all of his students and their well-being at all times. So congratulations, Joe. <laughs> Next up is Madeline Nguyen Acosta. Madeline is a very involved student on, the, student on the Wilcox campus. For the past two years, she has been a member of the Associated Student Body Council. She serves as the club commissioner, and last year, uh, or last year she served as club commissioner, and she's currently serving as publicity commissioner uh, this year. As publicity commissioner, Madeline is responsible for delivering the daily announcements to the entire student body on the PA system, and for changing the school marquee each week. Madeline is a very active member of the Touch of Aloha Club and is a member of the yearbook staff. Congratulations, Ben. And our adult honoree is the Wana Archer. Tawana has been an active member of the Dads, Grads, and Moms Booster Club for the last nine years. Holy Toledo. She currently serves as the Vice President Secretary for the, DG, for the DGM, which involves attending their monthly meetings. Every home football game, you can find her working in the DGM Linguisa booth or at the snack bar. Her children graduated from Wilcox in 2011 and 2014, and she still continues to be a very valuable member of DGM. Wilcox High School thanks her for her service to her school and to her community. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up from Wilson, our first honoree is, wait a minute, okay, Anika Dubinko. <laughs> 
In her two years at Wilson High School, Anita has made quite an impression on her peers and the Wilson staff. She brings energy, enthusiasm, and a can-do attitude to school each day and has become a model for success in an independent study program. In addition to her stellar academic work, her volunteer work at Walden West, and an involvement with the Wilson's Games program, she has done exceedingly well, exceedingly well in her Silicon Valley career technical education, forensics, and culinary classes, and serves the program's Skills USA as team uh, Skills USA team as an event coordinator. Anita has a bright future ahead of her, and we wish her all the best. Congratulations, Anita. Next up is Gabe Matthews. Gabe is the current co-president of Wilson High School's Spirit and Leadership Club and has greatly contributed to the safe and welcoming atmosphere at Wilson. Over the last two years, Gabe has been actively involved with school activities and in addition to running club meetings, he has created flyers for school events and fundraisers, helped set up for a Halloween event, and the 2016 graduation dinner. And he also participated in the ESC Scholarship Fundraiser Bolathon. Basically, if you ask Gabe for help, he does so with enthusiasm, with a willing attitude, and then you can always count on his follow through. Congratulations, Gabe. And our adult honoree is, thank you, <laughs> is Michaeline Correa. <laughs> Michaeline, even after retiring as a beloved teacher at Wilson High School, continues to be an invaluable part of the Wilson community. As a member of the Employer School Council, she participates in numerous fundraising events, such as the annual Bolathon, seasonal garage sales, and the ESC luncheon. Not only does she donate her time in helping to better Wilson High School, but she also donates generously to the school's scholarship fund. She is truly one of those special people that help make Wilson such a wonderful school. And we thank you for your many years of service. Congratulations. And next up from Adult Ed, Kathy Mardrano's uh, program. Our first honoree is Jerome Alabado. <laughs> Jerome is a long-standing member of the Wilson Preschool community. Jerome has, followed four year, has volunteered four years as treasurer for the Friends of Wilson Preschool. The Friends of Wilson Preschool is a nonprofit organization that supports the school through fundraising. The money raised is used for all school supplies and professional development for teachers. Jerome's expertise as treasurer is professional and has ensured the success of the fundraising efforts. His knowledge and dedication has helped the Friends of Wilson Preschool to run seamlessly from the start of the organization to the present day. We're very thankful for his time and dedication to Wilson Preschool. Congratulations, Jim. And our last honoree is Victor Serrano. After successfully completing the full course of the Cisco training at the High Tech Academy last year, volunteer extraordinaire Victor decided to continue with the program by contributing his time and expertise to help other students get ahead. As a valuable class assistant, 
He works alongside the classroom teacher, helping tailor the instruction to the individual students. His guidance and dedication has helped many students build new technical skills and advance their own careers. In addition to volunteering, he has also donated valuable Cisco equipment to the school. Thank you, Victor, for your amazing commitment and to serving our students. So as we begin to wind down this evening, I wanted to thank our board members, President Andy Ratterman, um, I'll try to do this in line, Trustee Jody Muirhead, <laughs> Trustee Albert Gonzalez, <laughs> Trustee Jim Canova, <laughs> and Trustee Mark Richardson. I certainly want to thank the Santa Clara High School for hosting this event, Greg Shelby, principal, and everybody who helped, including district PTA volunteers, uh, all volunteers from Santa Clara High School, the students who led the, the student who led the Pledge of Allegiance, not singing it, and, who, uh, and, and the uh, choir who sang the Star Spangled Banner. And um, honestly, this event could not happen without the support of all of you out there who make it possible for the honorees to do what they do in, as supportive family members. Um, so it does take a community. And um, I'd like you all to recognize if we'd have all of the honorees take one more stand up and have everybody in the audience give them one large round of applause. And, uh, and I want to thank you all. I, I do want to say the, um, the spirit of community is so alive and well in Santa Clara and uh, in Santa Clara Unified School District. And uh, we are all, our board, myself, the assistant superintendents, including Kevin Keegan, who I embarrassed tonight, um, Andrew Lucha, Mark Allgaier, is Mark up here somewhere? And uh, Kathy Knavel and all of the people that work and support them. Um, uh, we thank all of them for helping to make this the kind of community that it is. So with that, thank you very much. There are refreshments out in the back. Please enjoy yourselves, enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you.